Hey all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. And as always, we've got a lot to cover today, including brand new Marvel Legend reveals from Hasbro. So let's go on and jump right into it. Okay, now before we get into that Marvel news, let's go over a couple of other things, including some Transformer news. So just yesterday, we got official images for another Masterpiece figure from Takara. This is another figure using that skids mold. This is actually going to be the third figure that they've released with the skids mold. This one is being listed as Senator Crosscut, which I'm not familiar with this character, so I really don't know anything about him. But he is available for pre-order now, and it's slated with a February 2022 release date. It's going to cost you about $80. The figure has a number of accessories, including an electromagnetic pulse emitter you're also going to get a grenade a double vertigo gun a clutch drone and then a character card like all the masterpieces come with and then as i said this figure is available for pre-order now at places like big bad toy store following up on a story i talked about the other day we have uh, more images and details for that masterpiece nightbird figure so this is based on the character from the original G1 Transformer series. This is MP55. This figure is also available for pre-order now and also slated with a February release date. It is going to cost you about $146. Now, unlike in the original cartoon, they have made this one. So she transforms into a car. It looks like she's basically using the, the RC mold. And then she does come with a number of accessories, including um, her ninja sword. You're going to get a grappling hook, electromagnetic uh, uh, shuriken. She's going to come with a light blade ninja sword, a replacement face part, um, and then you know some other things like some effect pieces and, and things like that. So again, if you're not familiar with this character, she was created by human beings. The Decepticons basically uh, captured her and reprogrammed her to do their bidding. And she basically used her ninja skills to beat up the Autobots. So pretty cool episode, pretty cool figure, and as I mentioned before, unlike in the cartoon, this one actually does transform. A follow-up to another story I talked about the other day, that, that Blitzway Voltron figure is now available for pre-order. It went up this morning. As I mentioned before, the figure does have a hefty price tag of 700 bucks, but if you want to get your hands on it, it is available at places like Big Bad Toy Store. NECA Toys just yesterday released new final package images for their Turtles in Time, Rocksteady, and Bebop pirate figures. So we'd seen the figures themselves a while ago. These will be released soon. These are part of the video game line, so you can get them online at places like Big Bad Toy Store. And as I said, these should be shipping out very soon. Now, several bits of news to share with you today on the McFarland toy front. So first thing, we got a surprise reveal this week. This figure actually started hitting Target stores. I don't know if it's a Target store exclusive or if that's just where it's showing up first. But a big thanks to TNI reader Samuel for taking this image of his find. I've seen several people finding these at places like California and Nevada. So again, this is showing up currently at Target stores. It is a repaint of the Batman Beyond figure. I believe it is a new head sculpt that's included with it. And with that paint scheme, which is actually, I think, pretty cool looking, it seems to be kind of a, a battle damage look. You know, there's some, uh, there were some times in the show where his uh, suit got damaged and it kind of looked like this with the kind of digitized uh, feel to it. So again, this is a confirmed variant that is hitting Target stores. I don't know if it's a Target exclusive, but if you want to get it now, that's the best place to start checking. Thanks to Toy Store Dreamer, we have this scan from the newest issue of Previews Magazine giving us a look at a new DC Multiverse 2-pack. So this is one of those things that we saw listings for pop up a few months ago. It is listed as the White Knight, Curse of the White Knight Batman versus uh, Azrael in the Batsuit. It's again a 2-pack. The Asbat figure appears to be just a, a straight up re-release of the one that was in the single packaging. And then for the Batman figure, it looks like they removed the cape and then they added a, a harness piece that has a sheath to hold the two swords that are now included with the figure. And then you get a diorama, a flaming diorama base that you didn't get before. 
So this set's going to cost you about $39.99, 40 bucks, and I, I don't know when exactly it's going to start seeing release, but Diamond Previews does have it in their newest issue, so you will be able to, you know, it looks like this is going to be available everywhere. McFarland Toys this week put out an official announcement that they are taking over DC Direct. They're basically handling uh, DC Direct products from here on out, and it's not entirely clear to me what exactly that means. In the press release, it makes mention that they would be handling uh, inventory, previous inventory from uh, you know DC collectibles that pretty much went defunct last year. So uh, you know Warner Brothers kind of shut it down last year. So I don't know if that means some of the final items that had been solicited uh, by DC Direct will now finally see release. Uh, some of the Batman animated series figures and stuff. That's certainly a possibility. And then it looks like McFarlane's going to start doing their own stuff, statues and things like that. Now, I would assume that these would be released directly to comic book and specialty shops. These wouldn't be something that you would find at Target and Walmart. That was pretty much the concept behind the original DC Direct. But I won't say that 100%. Um, you know, it doesn't really make any mention of that in the press release. But definitely, you know, they're going to be doing, uh, you know, statues and replicas and things like that, like we used to see from DC collectibles and action figures. They do mention action figures as well. So possibly, you know, if these are going to be released at comic and specialty shops and stuff, this might give McFarlane more freedom to do more obscure characters, do something beyond just Batman. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. And then the final bit of McFarlane news I have for you guys today is a tease from Todd McFarlane himself. He put this image up on social media and it looks like McFarlane Toys is going to be launching their own online store. You know, pretty much everybody, every toy manufacturer these days has their own online store where they still sell product or at least some product directly to the consumer. And now it looks like McFarlane Toys is going to be following suit. So uh, that there's a link, McFarlandToys.com or McFarlandToysStore.com. And when you go, click on it right now, it takes you to a countdown page. When I last looked at it, it was just over uh, six days was left on the counter. And then based on the image Todd has teased, it looks like, you know, there's going to be at least one exclusive figure offered when they launch the site. Exactly what, what it is, I don't know. I would guess it's probably going to be Spawn related, but, but we'll have to wait and see. But definitely uh, it appears that McFarland Toys will start selling at least some product directly to consumers on their own store. Storm Collectibles just yesterday put out this teaser image, which makes it look like they're going to start doing 112 scale figures based on the new 2021 Mortal Kombat uh, movie. So they had you know previously been doing video game figures, but it looks like they're expanding into the movie. So no details on exactly which figures they're going to do. My guess is they'll start off with either Sub-Zero or Scorpion, but we'll have to wait and see. But if you've been wanting movie figures from the newest movie, it looks like you're finally going to get your chance to, to be able to get your hands on those. For Masters of the Universe. So first of all, if you wanted to get your hands on that Target exclusive Battlefield Warriors 2-pack, which features the battle armor He-Man with the VAC metal chest piece and then the battle cat which has scratches on him and some metallic paint and you get the display base as well it has a couple of uh little creatures that you can put on um on castle gray skull and then you can have the display base kind of sit in front of gray skull so that you know was announced a little while back it is a target store exclusive and it is actually starting to hit target stores now it has not yet been listed online but i imagine it will be at some point and I will put a DPCI number for that set for you down in the video description below. We also got some strange listings that appear to be Masters of the Universe Origins movie figures for He-Man and Skeletor. That's how they're listed in the Target system. Now these figures share the same DPCI numbers as the regular Origins figures, and they have the same price, $14.99. So I'm making an assumption here, I can't say 100%, but I'm making an assumption that these will be Origin-based figures from the 80s live action movie that featured Dolph Lundgren as He-Man and Frank Langella as, as Skeletor. You know, again, I won't swear to it, but I, I don't know what other movie these would be based on. So that's how they appear in the system. No idea exactly when these are going to start hitting shelves, but they are currently listed in the target system. There's also some listings that have popped up for animated series figures, which I'm assuming is the CGI series that's also coming to Netflix. You know, that's separate from the Kevin Smith one, the Revelation series. 
And this one has been said to be geared more towards the kids. And definitely with the prices that are listed here, th that's what these seem to be, uh, more kid-oriented figures. So uh, there's uh, basic figures for Skeletor and He-Man, and those have a price of uh, $9.99 each. And then there's also uh, a version of He-Man with a vehicle, maybe even, you know, that's Battle Cat, I'm guessing. And then one with Skeletor, maybe with Panthor, or maybe an actual vehicle, I don't know. But those have prices of $19.99 each. So those are showing up in the Target system now. Again, I don't have any kind of specific release date, and I am making somewhat of assumption these will be based on the new CGI series. But definitely you know even if it's not the cgi series it looks like some type of new kids oriented line that that mattel is doing for masters yesterday we got some pretty big reveals from hasbro on the ghostbusters front so they announced a new assortment of six inch plasma series figures based on the new afterlife movie we also got a new trailer for that movie yesterday as well which is probably why hasbro went on and announced the figures so they are doing, in fact, six inch plasma series figures for, for the new characters from the movie, which, you know, are the kids and such. But what was maybe a little bit spoilerish is that we're also getting plasma series of the original Ghostbuster members, older versions, as I'm assuming they will appear in the movie, and they are fully suited up with with you know their proton packs and everything. So I knew the I knew the original cast were going to be in the movie. You know, that wasn't a big secret, but it wasn't really clear if they were just gonna have minor cameos or if they would be playing as a, a more significant role. So if they're actually suiting up and everything, I'm guessing they are gonna have a, a little bit more significant role than just brief cameos. Um, you know, we didn't see that necessarily in the new trailer, but, but I, you know, like I said, if, if they're going to be putting on their uniforms and stuff, I'm guessing we will actually see them in action. Now, no word yet on exactly when these figures will be released. Um, if you get all the figures in the line, there will be, a, a Sentinel Terra Dog as it's called as the build a figure. So again, that is something we see briefly in the trailer. So the Terra Dogs return, I guess. Looks like in the trailer, Zool returns is, is the main bad guy. So uh, um, that at least was my impression from the trailer. But the movie comes out in November, November 11th. And so I would imagine the figures will probably be out, you know, September, October timeframe. And then besides the Plasma series stuff, there will also be a line of kid stuff, uh, action figures geared more for the kids, more basic and such. Um, we saw some of these back in 2020 during Toy Fair. But then because the movie got delayed due to COVID, the toys got delayed and, you know, originally these were going to be out last year. Well, now they are actually starting to hit Target stores. So, um, you know, you should probably be seeing them on shelves very soon as Target's do their resets this week. Most stores should be resetting their toy aisle this week. So that's uh, once they're completed with that, you should start seeing new products out on the shelves. And definitely it looks like stores are getting uh, these new Ghostbuster products. Not the Plasma Series stuff, but this uh, Afterlife Fright feature figures, which again are, are more kids oriented. So you get that once again, the, there's eight figures in the basic assortment, which uh, four of them are based on the new movie and then four from the original movie. So we get the original Ghostbusters again in this line. But these are actually based on their appearance, their younger selves from the original movies. Uh, this is not based on their older selves. So, um, but again, there's eight figures in the assortment. And then there's also an Ecto-1 uh, vehicle that they're releasing in the line. And all of these, again, are hitting Target stores now. Eventually, they should be available everywhere. But it looks like Target will be the first place to have them. Okay, and then finally for today, we're going to leave things off with some Marvel Legend news. So again, Hasbro had their live stream this morning where they revealed new What If product, which we're going to talk about a few other things as well. But before we get into that, I just wanted to share this new image that Dwight Stahl had posted up on his social media last night. It's a new image of the HasLab Galactus that gives us a true side-by-side -side comparison with the HasLab Sentinel. Now, unfortunately, we did not get any updated information about the Sentinel and when it's going to actually start shipping out to folks. Um, originally, you know, about a month or so ago, Hasbro was talking about these starting to ship out to people at the end of this month, July. That does not seem to be happening. I'm guessing the figure has been delayed with all the shipping hassles that have been going on in the world. 
which is, you know, somewhat understandable, though it would be nice if Hasbro actually gave us an update on this and told us what was going on with it, um, especially since they are asking people to to fund a second HasLab figure, which I've seen a number of people, you know, express, you know, hesitance of wanting to back Galactus until they have the Sentinel in hand, or at least uh, know when it's going to be arriving to them. So, but so far Hasbro has been completely mum on the status of the Sentinel, so we'll just have to wait and see. But as for Galactus, again, they gave us this new side-by-side -side comparison image of the figure, the two figures standing together, so you can see that Galactus is, is a decent bit taller than the Sentinel. Now, as I'm filming this, there's over 30, just over 33 days left on the HasLab project, and they currently have 9,358 backers out of the 14,000 backers that they, they need for this to be fully funded. So I still really don't think there's going to be much problem with that happening. How many tiers they actually unlock remains to be seen, but, but uh, you know... Uh, right now, it seems to be moving steadily along enough, and there's always a boost to these things um, towards the end. And then there's also, it's not known if they've added in uh, sales from overseas places that they're working with um, that's not directly part of Hasbro Pulse. You know, they will eventually add those sales into the number as well. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if you see that counter jump at some point when they add those in. Now, I've previously talked about how they teased. It looks like at least two of the tiers, maybe the only two tiers, I don't know, but but two of the tiers are going to include some type of Silver Surfer figure, which we don't know exactly, you know, how it will differ from the previous Silver Surfer figures. And then the Frankie Ray Nova character. Today, during the live stream, uh, Dwight made a comment saying that both figures will come with some juicy accessories that will make the overall package even more appealing to folks. He didn't give any specifics or such, but but he did make indication that that the figures, these uh, figures will have some uh, pretty cool um, accessories that, that go along with the whole Galactus theme. Okay, and then for the reveals for today, so pretty much as I had previously mentioned, we got the full-on reveal for that second Disney Plus wave that I've talked about before. So let's just go over that wave. So that includes, that is the wave that's going to have the Sylvie figure that Hasbro had previously shown off. That is the one Loki figure in this wave. All the other figures in this wave will be based on the upcoming What If animated series. So the figures in this wave, the What If figures in this wave will include uh, T'Challa as Star-Lord. And then we're getting uh, what is being called as Heist Nebula. Uh, they didn't know why they, the Heist name is there, but a variation of Nebula, Nebula with blonde hair. We are getting Captain Carter, which is probably the coolest looking figure in the wave. Though I think some people are also digging the zombie Captain America figure as well, which is the first zombie Marvel Legend figure that Hasbro has done. There is going to be Zombie Hunter Spider-Man, which is that Spider-Man wearing Doctor Strange's cape. We had seen that in the trailer. And then there is also going to be a Doctor Strange figure uh, in this wave as well. Now, the Build-A-Figure, which we had no inclination of, though some people suspected, is of the Watcher. So we are getting our first Watcher figure in, in the Marvel Legend line. It is based on this animated series. So he is kind of sleeker looking. He is you know, somewhat tall. He's taller than normal figures. Um, so he definitely doesn't look like the classic Watcher. Well, I mean, he looks a little bit like the classic Watcher, but he's much skinnier and taller than, than the, the classic comic book Watcher. So, yeah, I definitely at some point would like to see a comic book Watcher, even though I will say the Marvel Select version is a very solid figure that works pretty well with Marvel Legends. But, um, and hopefully, you know, Hasbro will eventually give us a, a classic comic book Watcher as well. But I actually think this is a pretty nice looking figure. So, it, you know, it doesn't bother me that, that, we're getting this version of the character right now. The one other what if figure is a standalone deluxe figure. I've talked about this as well. It is the Hydro Stomper. So it is just the, the armor. There's no Steve Rogers included with this. Uh, there are, you know, it's got, you know, jet pack and, and guns and things like that. And there's a handle so that Captain Carter can ride on the back of it, like you see in the trailer. So um, again, this is a, a one off uh, deluxe figure. It is all these figures, all these what if figures and the Loki Sylvie figure, you know, the second Disney Plus wave and then the deluxe figure will be going up for pre-order everywhere. 
uh, starting tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So they did not go up today, but you know tomorrow, which is July 29th, they will be available for pre-order at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Then besides that, they also showed off the next cosmic theme Walgreens exclusive figure, which is kind of funny being that most of us are still waiting for the Nova and Quasar figures. They've been released in Canada at EB Games, but Walgreens has yet to release them. According to Hasbro, the, the Nova figure will be released sometime this summer. Uh, no specific date, but sometime this summer. And then the Quasar and now this new figure, which is binary, will be released in the fall at some point. So Walgreens will continue to have exclusives. And again, in Canada, the, the binary will be offered at EB Games. And this is said to be the final cosmic themed Walgreens exclusive figure in, in the series. So, uh, the, you know, after this one, they're going to be switching to a different theme. But I, I would suspect that Walgreens will continue to have Marvel Legends, even though they are not seemingly carrying a lot of Marvel Legends these days. They announced a new Target exclusive, another deluxe figure. This is a, a, essentially a reissue of the Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming, along with the wings. This is specifically said to be based on the Homecoming movie. This is not meant to be a clue that Vulture will be in the new No Way Home movie, according to Hasbro. There are some modifications to the figure. The legs have been redone. You know, they've tried to make it more screen accurate than the previous figure. But, you know, if you missed out, essentially, if you missed out on getting Vulture or all the wing parts, you know, in the original wave, you had to get all the figures in the wave in order to complete the wings. Now you can just buy the one figure and the wings together. Again, this is going to be a Target exclusive release later this year. So um, don't look for that to go up for pre-order tomorrow. Now, this is something I've told you guys before, but Hasbro went on and officially announced that that Tigra figure will be a fan channel exclusive. It will be going up for pre-order tomorrow at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. And like the Hercules figure that, that they showed off uh, several weeks ago, it will be on a retro card back. And you get two different head sculpts with the figure, definitely nicely detailed. While the uh, previous Tiger they did wasn't a bad figure, this one definitely looks uh, a bit nicer. And as I said, if you want to get your hands on it, it will be going up on pre-order tomorrow at places like Big Bad Toy Store. They announced the next Army Builder Hasbro Pulse exclusive figure, which will be uh, the hand, this time in black. So my guess is this figure will be going up sometime around PulseCon, like we saw last year with uh, the Hellfire Club goon. So um, they didn't say specifically in the live stream, but as I said, my guess is we'll see this go up on the Pulse website sometime around PulseCon, which we don't know exactly when that will be. Hasbro has just said the fall. Though my guess, as I've said before, it will probably be sometime in September. And then to end things off, Dwight teased another item as he always does. This time he held up this little uh, square which he, piece that he really didn't give us a very good look at. And then started rambling about you know being nice to each other on social media and hate and anger and things like that. Which really kind of threw me off at first. But, but it does appear to be that this was a tease for the Psycho Man figure. That's, uh, I believe, his tablet. So as I've told you guys before, Psycho Man should be part of that Fantastic Four retro card back wave. The other figures being the Fantastic Four members in their classic outfits and then the High Evolutionary. Now that wave should be uh, fully revealed and going up for pre-order next month in August. So we only have a few uh, weeks to go until we'll be able to actually pre-order those. But um, again, for today's tease at the end, I believe that was for Psycho Man. Okay, so that's it for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please think about subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. You can also hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And as always, stay safe out there, guys. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.